Well, as Rahul Gandhi ends his Assam leg of the Bharat Joro Nyaya Yatra, it clearly has been marked by a huge confrontation between him and the Assam Chief Minister Hemant Biswa Sarma. So an FIR has been filed against him and other Congress leaders like Kanhaiya Kumar and KC Venugopal on the grounds that they broke law and order. They also attacked the police officers who were deployed on duty. What Hemant Biswa Sarma has been saying from day one that while permission has been given to the Yatris, there has to be a strict protocol which has to be followed, which is that they have to go through the areas for which they've got permission. They cannot create chaos, cannot jeopardize traffic. For example, they cannot go to a capital of Gohati and create problem there. But that's precisely what happened. And we saw a kind of a skirmish taking place between the Congress leaders on one hand, as well as the police personnel who were on duty on the other. In fact, the charge against Rahul Gandhi was that he was provoking and instigating the party workers to take on the police. And therefore, this is a complete breach of all the protocol, as well as the permissions which were given to him. But there's a history behind it. The hashtag which has been carried out by the Bharat Joro Yatra is the most corrupt CM, which is that they are doing a front-on attack on Hemant Biswa Sarma, clearly with an eye on the Lok Sabha elections, despite the fact that the Bharat Joro Yatra is claimed to be a, a political yatra. Uh, there is, of course, a history behind it. Things have never been smooth between the Sarmas as well as the Congress party ever since the Assam chief minister quit it in 2015. But what has hurt the Congress most is the success of Hemant Biswa Sarma, becoming the chief minister, becoming one of the most uh, closest political firefighters or for the BJP, especially as far as the Northeast is concerned. And his track record has been pretty successful. His shrewd political style is something which has come in handy to the BJP. But Hemant Biswa Sarma hurts the Congress party the most because when he quit in 2015, he came out with a series of statements personally against Rahul Gandhi. He repeatedly made reference to the fact that Rahul gave more importance to his pet dog Piddy over the party workers and how there was a kind of psychophancy within the party because when he had gone to meet Rahul Gandhi to complain about the grip of the Gogois over the party so much so that many like him were feeling stifled, he noticed that there were party workers who were actually sharing biscuit with Piddy from the same plate. He said, you know, they may not have had a problem with it, but I do. Ever since that, whenever Rahul Gandhi began his yatra, electoral results have come. Hemant Biswa Sarma has always accused Rahul Gandhi of being a child who has yet to become politically mature. And this has certainly hurt the Congress party the most, especially the supporters of Rahul Gandhi, when they have said that he has completely given up on his ideology only because he wanted to hold an important position. But now with this FIR, which has been filed, the attempt is being made by the Assam government to make the point that Rahul Gandhi is not one who follows the rules and wherever he goes, he tries to create trouble and stoke a law and order problem. And therefore, he's a threat to the security of the country. For the Congress party, it's a mixed bag because they also feel that this is something which could possibly rejuvenate the cadre. But given the grip that Himmata Swishwa Sharma has over Assam politics, whether this acrimonious stand between the two sides can really work to the advantage of the Congress party, that of course remains to be seen.